week, she wouldn't believe. And I get more ass than a toilet seat. Three, number one, number one, number three. I met a bad bitch last night in the deep. I'm still a little bit hyped from that previous game. I, I think my blood <laughs> pressure know. is still high as shit. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. I'm still like, I'm coming down from it now. Cavera. <laughs> we are going to see the one and only silent son of a gun, Cavera, making an appearance here right at the start of the round. And I can actually see where she would be very useful in this, because as you had mentioned earlier, Scrawny, there are a lot of a lot of rooms, a lot of walls, a lot of nooks and crannies that people don't know of. And this could actually be Solaris using that to their advantage, realizing, hey, we've gone through this map. Let's see if Pyramid has done the same thing. And if not, Kavera is going to play a major role in making the win happen. Here we go. We do see Goni is going to be lurking up top as Kavera does have the window opened above. And this is where Kavera could be, but it looks as though we do see four defend or four attackers ready to break their way in. And Goni is going to get trapped here. We're going to stay on her as the defenders or as the attackers move their way in. She was spotted by Taco, and now she's going to have to rotate out. The attackers are taking over the circle monitors area, not moving in yet to where Goni is, though. Goni still able to avoid the drone for the time being, or so it seems. And so he does still have an ability to roam around on the top floor. Of course, again, the defender still holding the line, and Romeo Dark still as well off into a bit of a lurk roll. And this is quite the pinch they have here on Goni. All three angles covered. Taco now has her right door. Blackbeard has the door behind her, and she cannot get out to the left. So she's going to be stuck here. Thatcher, what is Thatcher doing? Thatcher looks the wrong the way. way. Goni will pick it up and move, rotate back downstairs. And now she's going to go over towards the bathroom, possibly come back up to the back stairs, up and around the attackers. Taco picking off Viper, trading it off four on four with a minute 10 left to go in the round. Goni definitely looking for the flank on the flank here. You see all of a sudden the offense starting to scramble. Not only have they lost that- Holy really shit! Goni picks up the kill on Taco as Taco just bolts right in front of her. It is now Kavera taking on her sis or her brother, Capital, right in the heart. And also, Goni just rotates back in. He tries to sell the fake by running back down towards that side staircase where he did come from initially. But now look at this. He's immediately back to the position he initially started in. 35 seconds left on the round, and he is still where this all started rolling. Mm -hmm. What a great play by a well-known lurker here. Very good job by Goni. We're going to stick on over towards Blackbeard. It was outside the window. We do have Joe Schmo is going to try to pick up his teammate. Might get it in time unless Valkyrie's going to take a peek here. 15 seconds left to go. Blackbird's going to have to push on in right after this drone gets shown. And we do still have Frunk and Muck trying to hold it. Muck with a shotgun frag to Wolf, but Joe still able to get into the bomb site as his teammate goes down. Goni from above, raining hellfire onto the site. Yet Joe still up and alive, trying to plant the diffuser. Romeo coming on through though with the final frag, and that's going to be round number one going the way of Orange, that being Solaris. Great job by Goni. To me, that's that's play of the round right there, hands down. Being able to get out of that situation um, where he was literally trapped, he was cornered inside of a very narrow corridor right there by the by the doorway was able to get out of that, and you know what? He rotated downstairs, but he didn't rotate back to bomb site like most lurkers would. He yeah. knew the map well enough to go up those back stairs, come right up behind Capital. Capital, you obviously know, was not expecting it for his lack of awareness when he just ran right past her. And then on top of that, she went back to the same spot where it all began. Essentially, while the offense was playing checkers, Goni was playing chess. Thatcher, last third of my charge does go off and loading will get the diffuser down as they move into bathroom. That's the push that I was talking about from server into bathroom. Were they were able to open up that wall? Pulse now does see them. Viper will get the shot onto Chaotic. Diffuser goes down four Everybody, on four, but two of the defenders are very much hurt. Muck down to about two, three health, and Viper down to about 30. Crony now starting to rotate down the main stairs, though. Now rotating it back up, and it's going to be Wolf to find a frag. He goes no, down in return, though. Viper pushing on towards the diffuser. He's going to lose his life, loading with the frag. Crony and now also oh, Frunk right. down and dusted. Excuse me, at least into the site. And here Goni we are going to see an interrogation one. as Goni gets it on the Joe Schmo. Does spot the remaining person. Will pick up one kill, and it's going to be loading versus Kavera. They do know where they are. It's going to have to be a push inside. She's going to try and hit it, and it's going to be a... Attackers getting it because the diffuser did not get destroyed in time. It did stop the bomb from going off. 
What a round. What a heartbreaking round there for the defenders after that interrogation went off. What a sick play from Carrera. Agreed, agreed. We saw an interrogation. Saw the interrogation. She downed one, down two, said, you know what? There was only one guy left. I need to get that information. So she took the risk, got Thermite on his stomach, choked him, knifed him, got the interrogation, and then unfortunately was not able to pull it off in time because we did have the remaining attacker play at the time back out of the room and was able to take the win there for his team. I have to apologize officially on the record for ever doubting that this game was not going to be exciting as the first. <laughs> uh, especially cast, and uh, it's a real pleasure. Yeah, and that's one of the things we're trying to do here is we're trying to get the semi-pro team some exposure, some ability to play other competitive teams more than just once a week in the go for our systems. Goni right. right off the bat will pick off loading as he does peek outside. And that's going to be a great way to start off the round for the attackers. Already entering. Look at this. Goni so aggressive and he's carrying that defuse at the same time. Doesn't even slow him down a bit. Viper on the drone starting to clear out the bathrooms. Now that they see that this portion of the building is clear, we do see four men push up forward, or at least three for the time being. Viper still on the back, holding with that information. Romeo again here on offense will also be on his own some playing as Buck. He is now entering on towards the second floor. Up above, going to be looking to open up an angle as the Thermite does blast through the side of the bathroom. And a single C4 into that bathroom could be devastating for Left the attackers. Side. They do not need to all be there. Goni does put one down. Will blind himself. Okay, guys, Buck watching the way. flight from behind. We do see it looks as though it might be Valk, or that's Buck up top. I'm sorry, that's Buck up top going after Pulse. Doesn't know Pulse is up there yet, but he knows there might be someone, so he's going to try and go after him. Woof will pick up the kill onto Goni. Muck will then trade it off, killing off Rook. And, and now it's going to be three on two. However, Viper picks up the kill onto Taco. And now it is a Pulse upstairs, smoke inside of the bomb site as the attackers start closing on in with half the round remaining to go. Honestly, I see what Valkyrie was trying to do there, trying to take the initiative and go for the wide peak into that main lobby, but obviously not grabbing the angle. Viper with the frag is lit in the engagement, dropped underneath 50%. Romeo by his heels, still fully health, as is Mock. That is going to be, excuse me, Muck. That is going to be the diffuse carrier in still towards that bathroom. So A, really going to be the gem of the Three eyes four, here for the offense, looking three, to make their way there. B, definitely cut off as Joe does Here we does go. Sit. We can see Chaotic is just going to light this up. Will not... Oh. Shoot him though, he will miss him. I would have taken one shot, opened the draw patch, dropped and gotten him. Not try to just wall bang. You gotta be smart with those shotgun shells, Chaotic, if you wanna be useful up top. He will rotate around. Oh, in diffuse. the process, Viper gets down, and meanwhile, it's gonna be Muck to get that defuse planted. Joe kills the diffuser, however, now having to deal with Romeo as the flank comes through and is dealt with effectively. Viper now going for the wide flank. He has to get the drop on a smoke, but smoke, having his points of view, does initiate a 1v1. But Viper able to find the angle, find the frag, as he does get pushed. Obviously, that frag grenade kind of picking up the pace of the round. Smoke rounds the corner quickly, and as we see, picked off easily. <laughs> yes, great job by Ash there, picking up those... For it again, Cavera. After that first performance, how could he not? I know, right? Especially because the ventilation room and workshop is going to be on the bottom floor again, on that main floor. So she will be able to work up top. And uh, I would like to see her play smarter um, in the sense that she wouldn't get cornered because I think there was a little bit of luck involved in that, but definitely skilled played in being able to survive that first round. What is this? Yeah, I think bad. it's safe to assume that was quite lucky uh, for, for, for the for the timing to just go his way, right? Obviously, he makes the best of a bad situation, mm -hmm. but he found himself in a bad situation again. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. um, There's still a Kavera back there, but I don't think they realize it. And Kavera peeks her head up, will get the shot. That's okay, one okay, kill for Joni as he goes into the round. 60 seconds left to go. Four on four. Thermite devastatingly hurt. Not a wall open jet with both his charges still in pocket. And Chaotic's going to rotate back over to that window. Now, Loading did have an angle on this upper nice. floor, keeping Goni solidified into that back corner. But as he does reposition, Goni, capitalizing yet again, manages to run away. 
Okay. He will circle back, however, stealthily, trying to find this pick, but the revive does come through. It's Taco back on his feet here, and on the offensive immediately, picking up the pace and trying to find Goni, which he does, but to no avail, as Goni finds a frag, and Viper does the same on the floor below. Chaotic still trying to find an entrance into the B site with Joe Schmo by his side. Both players now, the last two standing for the offense, working this bomb site, one of which already lit. That's Joe, who's still, excuse me, no, that's Chaotic, excuse me, yes, it is Joe, who's still trying to find an entrance. Tricks, but he can't jump. There's too many defenders holding the line. And we are going to have Goni goes right back up to his hole. Does pick off Joe as he comes into the window. There is one on four now as jo Chaotic is the last one alive. Does pick off or down. Looks as though it's going to be picking off Goni, but does not have enough time to get that diffuser planted. We'll just pick up the kill and have VG. I'm sorry, not VG. VG was in the last game. We'll have Solaris picking up the win. Solid round, but I mean, very nice attempt at the uh, in the last few seconds there to explode themselves out onto the site. But again, it was that hole above the site um, being played by the Lurker once more that manages to solidify them the very last bits of the round. So very, uh, very good play to not only maintain that lower map control, but then also the second floor above and uh, combining all of that positioning as an advantage. Obviously, uh, one of the biggest variables leading to that victory. So solid job again. Good another round on the board here for the Orange squad, for Solaris, as they do move forward now with a one-point lead. Chaotic has to come off the cameras, and Goni putting that drone in may or may not have spotted her. Valkyrie is still able to hold that back corner, but Thermite popping open the wall. Chaotic in a difficult position. He can't quite rotate out as of yet, but Goni doesn't seem to have a read on him. The Nitro Cell comes through. Chaotic not able to explode the device as Goni leaps over that half wall to find the frag. Frunk with a headshot dropping Taco, leaving Joe Schmo on the site. He is, of course, trying to fight over the side of that desk, but both Frunk and Goni with shots on him. Loading with the frag, however, from the back. He's going to drop out Romeo and drop Muck. This is two players currently standing for the offense, two players currently for D. And right now it is in the side of the defenders with the lurk coming up. Agoni is ready to pick it off. Front cover does go down by Joe, and it is the remaining one-on-one. -on -one. And it's going to be Joe and Goni. That Joe does know where he is, but Goni does not pick up the kill in time, and it's going to be the defenders taking on the win. To we got it, we got even it up 3-3. Three, three. Joe Schmo killing the diffuser with plenty of time to finish it off. His teammate does not get killed, and that's going to be a nice win for the defenders here, tying it off. He did blow it up. You have to remember, Goni is still above, of course, and Frunk with that heartbeat sensor does have a read on the offense. Wolf will find the frag, though. Muck trying to rotate out of the bathroom, caught off guard. That's going to be the diffuser with an opportunity to close into the A bomb site, but he's caught by the shots from Goni up above. His death rains down upon him, and Viper also dropped over towards B. We do have Taco down outside the building. 30 seconds on the clock. This round is anyone's to take. Great job by Chaotic there, knowing that that drop hatch was open. There was most likely going to be someone falling down through it. Goni, last one alive, top four, does pick off Wolf. 20 seconds remaining. Shotgun is right above Capitao. Couple bullets go through, will scare Goni off. Couple pre-fires back, possibly. Goni's going to have to go back down through that drop hatch. He's not going to have enough time to work his way outside. And now it's going to be in the attacker's favor, Goni's just going to sit here. He's just trying to play it safe, win the KD. Viper picks up the kill on to Taco. Two on one, and Diffuser does get planted. Goni picks up the kill onto Twitch. Interrogation, interrogation. again! Second interrogation out as a one on one. He's going to have to use this to his advantage. He's going to hop out here. Couple bullets will not do anything. She's going to have to rotate back, and Chaotic will then have to push on in. Now, Chaotic has to try to read the situation. Does he think it's going to be a fake first? Does Goni actually go for the bomb? There's so many questions here, but Chaotic starting to close the distance, wants to get eyes onto the device to ensure that there is no diffuse. And there it is, a headshot from Chaotic to close it out. An easy cleanup as Goni's hand is forced. He reveals himself and takes a bullet to the head as a cost. Spacemon, thank you for the host, dude. Much appreciated. Glad you guys are having a lot of fun tonight, just like we are. I mean... As much as last game was intense, this game is being just as intense here as it becomes a 4-3. to three. Again, we we had some disconnects. It was 2-2 two, two before the disconnects. But that, the, the second interrogation, we had the fantastic smoke play. I mean, there's plays left and right that are just making these matches tremendous for, for all the teams. 
and so solid not only for that interrogation to come through in the first place but not quite sure if you did have the camera on stream there blood he hid underneath the desk gave their opportunity to the player to peek for the information when he first sees oh damn he's not in this corner immediately the uh the the, the aggressor kind of changes his attention elsewhere mm -hmm. and that is when carrera strikes yep. uncroaches from underneath the desk shot him to the chest interrogation and then obviously we saw the rest unfold yes and it was a tremendous play by Cavera. again play the game there for her however or not play the game, play the round. Unfortunately, though, it didn't work in her favor. The attackers were able to outnumber her and get the diffuser planted, ultimately getting the win without enough time for Kavera to win. So it looks as though loading is going to get that drop hatch in the armory desk above bombsite, and it's going to be right at the start of the round. It looks as though he's going to be the only one on this top floor. I'm sorry, Pulse is there with him in a 2v3 situation or setup here for the defenders. Now they do still have the same kill holes opened up above the B site. So again, they'll be playing from the same position as they have re-solidified the southern wall of that room. Both positions going to be occupied by Chaotic, who of course, as Pulse, can just kind of jump around, ensure that he's not being surrounded the same way that we did see Carrera get... Um, have done to her mm -hmm. uh, five players here on the ground floor currently for the offense romeo clearly thinking about scaling the wall and bringing a bit of verticality to this offense but for the time being they have already popped open the one side of the uh, exterior bathroom hallway and now they do start to close their distance ever so close to the bomb site viper already clearing out the bathrooms map knowledge definitely going the way of the offense here Yep, and here we do see Goni clearing off the offices. They did drone out the bathroom. They know it's reinforced. They know no one's in there, so they're going to get in there. Open up that wall. Chaotic picking off the first kill onto Romeo, but Muck following that up by knocking out loading. Trading it off 4-4 with a minute 50 left to go. And here is that diffuser, or that, uh, that bomb being planted again. Poor Nade will blind Goni. Frunk moving out just in time with his teammate, Ash. Going to get that other wall open, and this is where the push is going to come from later on in the round. Now keep your eyes on Chaotic as he is still up on the floor above, has a perfect read here with his heartbeat sensor, knows where there's at least three. So he's just waiting on the perfect opportunity to drop down into this hatch, but Goni seems to have a read. Frunk also taking the time to come on back, check that hole, and ensure, of course, that they're not being flanked. There's a minute 15 still on the clock for the offense to work with. Muck and Viper on the front line, again, trying to find some angles, but it's Taco from within the small office, able to find the shotgun frag Viper down and dusted. Muck now trying to close the distance. Of course, he has the advantage of the shield, so that's an easy frag. Taco caught with his pants down in the corner, and there's the flank from Chaotic to chime things back for the side of the defense. And Rook has made his way into the bathroom now, just in time to back right back out. And now it's, I'm sorry, not Rook. That is going to be, I believe, Thatcher made his way in. Muck outside looking at the server, does trying to come up behind. Wolf, Wolf peeks right at the correct time and does get Blackbeard down. Great okay. job, one on three right now. 35 seconds left and Pulse is gonna peek out right after using his device to spot him. Chaotic getting that kill onto Goni.